Since the introduction of the camera in the 1800s, photography has been a means for us to capture, preserve, and share memories. Starting as a hobby exclusively for the wealthy, photography became more accessible as technology improved and, as a result, it grew in popularity. However, during the analog era where film was all the rage, we were limited in the number of photos we could take. It took forever to develop a roll of film, and editing photos was hard to do. Film has made way for digital image capture. Today, picture files can be read, processed, and stored in a range of electronic devices, such as mobile phones. Using digital files instead of rolls of film means we have the ability to take more images than ever. Plus, if we don't like a photo, we can simply delete it. And thanks to the development of software such as Adobe Photoshop, we now have more control over the look and feel of our photographs. The evolution of photographic technology has changed the way we use, archive, edit, and recirculate our images. American communication scholar Henry Jenkins refers to this as convergence. With more memory, we no longer hesitate to take photos of routine and mundane events, and, thanks to sites like Snapchat and Instagram, we can share and talk about these images instantly with our networks. New technologies have also opened up the way we can edit and transform our images. It allows us to engage with one another in new ways in what Jenkins refers to as participatory culture. With low barriers to artistic expression, participatory cultures encourage the development and sharing of one's creations. Members feel a connection to one another and believe their contributions matter. For researcher Alice Marwick, the humble meme is one example of participatory culture in action. A meme is an item such as a photograph, image, video or phrase altered in a creative or humorous way and is shared and spread on the internet. The term was first introduced by evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins in his 1979 book The Selfish Gene. While he was referring to the transmission of genetic material, Dawkins used meme as a metaphor to describe the transmission of cultural trends from person to person. With the growth of the internet, the term was applied to web trends, which had the capability to spread from person to person with little push from the creator. Memes give us the power to become creators. We can take images, add our own creative spin, and share them with our ever-growing communities and networks. Clever memes such as Success Kid can even inspire thousands of variants for years to come. They are also an example of spreadable media. Shared across various networks and platforms, memes can be shared in unprecedented ways across social networks. Popular memes such as Business Kid and Bad Luck Brian are just two examples of spreadable memes. Our relationship with photography continues to evolve. Today, photographs are not only a way for us to capture moments, they are also a way for us to express ourselves and communicate with one another. Who knows how photography will evolve in the future, but I am looking forward to finding out. <laughs>